More on Briere Day and what uh, happens at the beautiful uh, Briere facility. Joining us this morning is Dr. Uh, Hillel Feinstone, uh, Director of uh, Stroke Rehabilitation Research. Morning, how are you? Good morning. Good to have you here. Well, thanks. What a fantastic day this is, uh, is going to be. I think it's, it's shaping up to be a great day. Exactly. Um, one of the things uh, that you do over there is uh, stroke rehab, but the point of uh, talking to you, first of all, today is uh, not to um, use your facilities because I don't want to have a stroke. And that's one thing you talk about is stroke prevention, right? That's right. I mean, we even when people come in for a stroke, for the stroke rehabilitation program, the emphasis has got to be on prevention. So stuff like treating high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, that's fundamental. So if anyone's out there, they know that, that, that those are prime things that cause stroke, lead to clogging up of the blood vessels. Yeah. We also want to uh, know the signs of stroke, right? And we're talking about the people around the person who has the stroke. Because it's not much good for me, if I'm having a stroke, to know the signs. What signs are we talking about? So you've got to remember that the brain has, it has a lot of parts to it. So, so the signs of stroke are wide. So let's just go through a few of them. The things like if you have sudden onset of weakness, you can't feel something in your hand, that could be the sign of stroke. Right. If the left part of the brain got, got injured, then the main thing you may find is that you're not speaking properly. You're saying the wrong words or you don't understand what your loved one is telling you. Right. Then you could just present with nausea or vomiting. Sometimes people just start vomiting a lot and they get spinning and their head is spinning really? and the world is turning and people think that's an inner ear problem. That could be a stroke too. Right. So there's lots, of, so those are, the, and those are the key things. What that ones could be, do we see most often? Is there one in particular or a couple of I'd say of still the weakness, sudden right. weakness or on loss of feeling. On one side or the on other? On one side of the body would be more common. Is there one side more prevalent to no, that? Not really. No? Right brain and left brain could both be right. unfortunately equally affected. Right. What do I do if I, if I notice someone, uh, a friend, a relative, whatever, is, is, has those signs? What do I do with them? I think the, the first thing to know now, this is, you've got a heart attack, think of it, this is a brain attack. So what we're talking about is you've got to get urgent care immediately. Don't do what, like, sometimes, unfortunately, some of my patients feel a little weakness, feel a little numbness, and say, I'll think about it tomorrow and go to sleep. Too late. Why? Because you've got to get to the emergency immediately because you've got about a four-hour window. Right. There's some medications within that four-hour window that really help, right? Clot-busting drugs, TPA is the number one drug. It could work. It could be effective. But as we talked, unfortunately right now, if you look at what across cancer, about 10% of people, 15%, maybe 20 if we do everything max with, with the emergency rooms. and Right. Uh, so we still have all those other people who need then to have care right. at the hospital and then at Briere. But you say rehab makes a difference, and more and more so, correct? We know that rehab saves lives. It prevents people from getting into nursing homes and it prevents disability from happening. Right, right. So um, how, many, how many patients would you say come in and out of Briere now for stroke rehab? Well, right now we're the largest provider on, in, in eastern Ontario. We've got 30 inpatient beds and our length of stay is getting shorter and shorter because of government right? demands. Yeah. yeah, so we're talking about hundreds of patients over the year who are getting things like speech and language pathology, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, psychology. It's multiple right. of subjects. I don't work alone. Because I'm, you can still have a, a, a relatively normal productive life even after stroke, correct? I have patients who are executives. I have patients who are working, man, working people and nurses, and they, they do lead productive lives. Sometimes they have a disability left right. that they have to deal with. Sometimes they have to modify parts of their job. But lots of our people are leading productive lives. And all of that rehab, getting them to that state happens at Briere, right? So. Yeah, we have an inpatient and yeah. we're developing an outpatient program. We have one, we're trying, that's what we need some of the funds to expand the outpatient care. Exactly. And to so uh, get involved with the ninth annual uh, CFRA uh, Briere Day. All you have to do is, uh, well, make a call or go online or anything like that to pledge your support. That's what they I know me. you guys depend on uh, this sort of It helps funding. a lot. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, Dr. Thanks. Thanks Appreciate for it. Me. Appreciate it.